Smartphones these days know a lot about you. And what if I say that you are the reason? Surprise, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five Android settings that you need to turn off right now to maintain your privacy. Let's go. Number one, opting out of Google ad personalization. So Google actually keeps a track of your search history and finds your interest. And based on that, it shows ads for you. Now, have you ever thought while you search for a pen, ads of pen displays all over your Chrome? That's because of Google's ad personalization. So in order to turn that off, you just need to go to settings, click on Google and click on the Google account that you use primarily. Now, if you need to turn off it in all your Google accounts, you have to do this step again and again. Now, click the Google account and click on manage your Google account. Now, it actually takes you to your Google settings where you have to click on data and privacy scroll down until you find ad personalization and turn that toggle off now this actually disables the ability of google to personalize ads based on your search history or your interest which is actually a good thing because google always keeps a track of your search history and your interest and shows ads based on that so yeah this is a setting that you need to turn off right now number two is restricting background data usage now there are hundreds of apps installed in your smartphone and i'm sure you will be only using 10 to 15 of them regularly what about the other apps they access data from the background and there are two problems with it one it consumes your battery and two it consumes your data and this is especially a problem for people who use limited data through your network provider in order to disable background data usage go to settings select the application and click on data usage after clicking on that just disable background data keep in mind that you have to select all those applications that you don't use regularly don't just go on whatsapp and disable the background data or go on youtube and disable the background data because it will have problem in terms of notifications so keep in mind that disable background data usage for applications that you don't use regularly and not those that you use regularly number three turning off your bluetooth and wi-fi scanning capabilities now this is not the capability of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi scanning when those are actually turned off. But your device actually looks out for signals of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth even when they're turned off. That is not necessary. It actually consumes your battery. So in order to do that, just go to your settings and click on location and find Wi-Fi scanning. Now, after clicking on that, disable your Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. What it does actually turns off the ability to scan for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signals even when their options are turned off. Number four is disabling precise location. Now, there are many applications that need your precise location, like food delivery applications, cab applications, Amazon, for example. For those, you can have precise location turned on. But there are some applications that don't even need your location, but actually has a track of your precise location. In order to turn off precise location, go to settings, click on location and click on app location permission. Select all those apps which doesn't need your precise location and toggle off the precise location toggle. Now, your precise location won't be available for those applications which actually don't need it. Last but not the least, enabling sensitive notification. Now, this is a feature which lets you to hide the content of your notification on your lock screen. And this is especially important when you are in a crowded place where people see your notification shared and guess what's the notification about. So in order to turn that off, you have to go to settings. You have to click on notification and select enable sensitive notification now this particular setting is for pixel smartphones and for other smartphones you need to actually go to settings lock screen notification settings and use hide content toggle what it does essentially is to hide the content on your lock screen when your screen is locked so there you have it these are the five android settings that you need to turn off right now and if you have any other suggestion comment your opinion down in the comment section below and as always if you enjoy watching my content a like to this video would be absolutely great Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more tech content. And hey, if you want to get notified for the future content, just click on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post any new video. So until the next one, this is Arnav signing off from the video. Talk to you guys in the next one.